Come on, let's do it together. <laughs> Massive multi dollar kiwi dollar fresh on. I would say that it's stressful at times. He somehow manages to make things happen. I don't know if it's gonna pop. What do you think? Being able to show a consistent return has allowed me to enjoy certain things in life. Hi, Nick McDonald from Think Huge Investments, where we offer retail traders the ability to invest capital with professional managers and have it traded on their behalf. FX Viper is by far our most popular and it's managed by a good friend of mine. His name is Jeff and he originates from Toronto, Canada. I've just returned from a few days with him where I was lucky enough to be there during one of the most volatile periods of the year when the Greece situation was coming to a head and trading opportunities were plentiful. What time is it? 6.20 in the morning. And I missed the first two trades that started at 5 a.m. Yes, you started, I started at 5. My first two trades were about half an hour ago. And unfortunately, Nick, uh, you were sleeping. <laughs> so you missed it. <laughs> Second coffee for the morning? Uh, yeah. Second of May. How many coffees you have in a day, generally? 8 to 10. 8 to 10. <laughs> and these, these little ones, these espressos. Usually I'm on number 3 or 4 by now. Yeah. I'm so tired. On a platform of resisting pressures from the IMF, their position A to start over time to learn to do the kind of things that other countries in Europe have done to make their economies more competitive and cut back on these big fiscal deficits. Things are tough. Hey, hey, Nick's here. You like this trade? Impossible. Yeah, I'm just looking at the pound. You see how the pound is completely the other way. That's what kind of level are we looking at to place a trade in? My, uh, my Swami tells me 109.50, 110.50. Here you go. Here? You like? I took it. I took <laughs> There she goes, you're right. Four, fifth. Yeah, you're right. You said 50. She got up to 40, 42, 7. Are you going to put another trade on? No. no. Not at that price. Quick recap on things. It's just too close against. Dow Jones update. I closed it. Did it close properly on the. On the yeah. So yeah. How, many, how many pips do you get for the benefit uh, of the camera? Just. Just one pip. Let me just see. Just to get flat. Nobody lost. Oh, my man's broke even. Can you see the banners? 3280, yeah, they all broke even. What's the release? US uh, ISM manufacturing people. 52.8 on the headline, employment 51.7, prices paid 49.5, new ones 55.8, construction spending 2.2, the previous rise up sharply to plus 0.5. Quick recap then, the headline for ISM is higher than expected, the yeah. component is an yeah. improvement against previous at 51.7 for 48.3. We the Close the trade prior to the news to get a flat, and then obviously the news the ISM, the manufacturing was orders. 52.8 Versus 52 expected. And the total construction spending in the US is stronger since November of 2008. Wow. So you're not going to get in unless it goes up, really? No, I'm not going to get in yet. <laughs> Close the trade to get us flat. And of course, decent number on the US uh, ISMs, but that's just part of the game. I did currency trade to get me a Tesla. Well, I guess, you know, over the years, being able to show a consistent return has allowed me to enjoy certain things in life, and one of them is buying a Tesla. <laughs> did you hear that? I, I mean, that wasn't even close to being going down.
from 36 and went all the way 38 down to 24. I'm not going to, I got 14 pips. It's not worth it. They're talking about finalizing a deal. My newsfeed's going on, but honestly. Dance this got stopped out of the Euro short. <laughs> Every day to just. Yeah. yeah. One of the banks. Okay, let's go back up. One of the banks just got stopped out of it. We are the worst traders in the world. <laughs> so we'll get plenty more opportunities. Yeah, we'll get more opportunities. If there's a deal, we'll get lots of opportunities. Actually, I'm afraid to go out today at all. I just said, let's go for breakfast. Today. Now I'm afraid I will, we'll miss everything. No. Right. Especially with the euro like this. We'll just have a smoothie. No, no, or I can make bread, eggs if you want. Yeah, yeah. Here. Tea cup. Tea? Anything in it? Just boiling water. Just boiling water. Battery died. Okay, I just walked in from the. We lost each other. What happened? I'm just trying to catch up. I took a trade too when I saw you get. What happened? Being Euro Dollar, just going through the 111 handle on the upside. So, some further momentum just picking up in the currency markets here. So, further stops trips above the 111 handle. Just took a second trade. So, consequently, also lifting cable up to fresh highs. Nice of Aussie Dollar, Kiwi Dollar, fresh highs. So it looks to be more seemingly the dollar weakness helping elevate things across the board with also stops trips in euro dollar through 111. 20 pips we have. 4 I'm changing. What are you shooting for? I'm not sure yet. I'm waiting to see if that thing's going to call back. 7. What's going on here? Yeah, what's going on? It's the whole dollar, it's not just the... No, I know. Yeah. No, I know. Wow. Holy f yeah, I got one too. I just went went up to that break and that stops were getting triggered. Creditors are still far from a deal <gasps> with Greece. So it's EU's title will be that says creditors are still yes. All right, so let me talk you through what just happened. Uh, we were out having some breakfast and the euro spiked about 90 pips as we get back, continues to pump higher, the euro. Subsequently puts another four or five trades on. So the managed accounts that he's trading made about 10 grand in the last, in the last 20 minutes. Um, and his personal accounts, his master account, also made a bit of money. So across the board, with his MAMs that he's running with us, I think huge investments, in addition to his account, in addition to his private clients, he probably made a good uh, 50 odd grand. Why can't you say what it's like to be very tough? Because I don't think Jeff is really like anyone else. That's why. Yeah, we'll see if I'm done. Please don't meet me right now. I don't know I would say, I would say that it's stressful at times. It's stressful being a wife of a currency trader? Sure. He, well it is. He has, He's, I think he's very conscious of the fact that he has a lot of people that are depending on him. And especially with the forums too, because he tells me when people say, you know, are excited or say positive things. Oh, really? So I know he's conscious of that, so he has to be conscious on the other end when they're gonna say negative things or. Would you have it any other way? <laughs> he's lucky he married somebody who who what, Jeff? I don't know, who thinks big? Or who's willing to take, you know, uh, risk in order to get ahead. You're willing to accept that? Absolutely. 
I think you have to take <coughs> risks yeah, in yeah. life. But I was also, I mean, it wasn't such a blind risk. I was betting on him. Yeah. So he somehow manages to make things happen mm. all the time. Yeah. He just never gives up. I will give him that. I know that he has his mobile next to him at bed and the iPad and always listen to the news 24 hours a day. That's gotta be hard to handle. Uh, you know what, I think we just, I, I'm so used to that. And nice. I think even before currency trading, he was always busy with something. Yeah. So now he's just busy with this all the time. Yeah. 24 step. Yes, yeah. he doesn't, he, it doesn't stop. But that's okay. It doesn't okay. stop. That's okay, it's just part of it. Yeah, I think in order to be successful at anything in life, you, the people who are very successful, they eat, sleep, and breathe what they do. All right, so Jeff, can you tell me a little bit more about your charts and what you're looking at? And well, right now I'm looking at this price action. The euro is broken, uh, made a pop, way overextended. It's moved 247 pips. I'm down 92 pips on this trade. I'm not concerned because I only have one position open. I'm looking to add to it. Um, and I'm looking at the price action and I'm watching the news at the same time, seeing if there's any news. I see they're talking about potentially a deal with Greece, but in my view, the euro will go down after eventually. Mm -hmm. It might pop a little more, but over time, the euro is going much lower. I think it'll hit the dollar three, dollar four level. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm in a dollar ten eighty, but uh, I'm really not concerned. What's on my charts is basically these candles I'm using are called fat wicks and they allow me to <clears throat> look at the price action a little more easier and there's no colors. So they're not color coded. And I'm following this price action using these candles, which I prefer personally because they take away a lot of motions between red and blue candles. And then I've got some proprietary lines that I've set up for support and resistance. And that's basically it. That's basically my charts and the pivot, and that's really it. They're not like complicated, but I'm used to them because this is what I've been using for the years that I've been trading. So I have no uh, plans to ever change these charts. They're sort of designed for me specifically, and they work well for my trading. What's on that screen? Oh, this screen basically is my new screen. I, you know, I've got the dollar index, Twitter. I've got. Um, Who do you follow on Twitter? Oh. Different people. I follow everyone from uh, Zero Edge to Live Squawk to the ECB to uh, basically three or four news sources. And then I follow, I use Rand Squawk for news, or, or some people might know them by um, Talking Forex, but I use the more professional version, which is Rand Squawk. And then in the bottom left, you got. Just, that's just my writer's feed. I, I can, Watch uh, Reuters. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, not Reuters. Dow Jones. That's basically it. And as far as the dollar index goes, I just watch that to see for support and resistance for it, and see if it's breaking out, and if the euro is following uh, that dollar index. I'm gonna add a trade here. Dow Jones update. So you just heard it said Dow Jones update. So that's Dow Jones newswire. All right. So just. You just added a trade? Yeah. Lots of volatility today. Lots of volatility. So my plan is to finish trading today and go for my daily run. <coughs> How often do you do that? Every day? I usually every day. Except for when I have you here visiting, but it's fun. <laughs> day off. Or is that just getting rid of the dust? <laughs> That's my dust. Keeps the dust bunnies away from my computer setup. Okay, cool. You know, behind me, I've got all my <clears throat> APC boxes, uh, switches for for internet backup. You know, wireless wireless modem, um, and then basically that's it. And then my setup to my generator. <laughs> so, talk me through this trade, all right? So, what are we at the moment? It's up. Let's break even on this. No, it's up like two pips. Right now, basically, I got one trade down 87 pips. I'm probably going to have to add to get out of it. Maybe. It all depends how news flow 
uh, what happens over the next few days with Greece. If Greece does do a deal, the euro may go up a little more, but it's going to eventually sell off because, you know, everyone expects it to go up more than what it really does. And then people start looking at it as an opportunity to smart traders to short into the strength. And so that's what I will do. So right now i got a second trade open. I'm going to probably scalp this trade, we'll see how it plays out in the next 10 minutes. And then what I'll do after that is I'll look to add at a later time. But we got a lot of news this week, so I'm not in a rush to add. And I'm going to space out my trades quite a bit when I am adding. So what's the target on this? Maybe four or five pips? Maybe. I don't know. i got to see. Uh, it's now 12.47 in the day. London's gone home. i got to see how the pound reacts right here because the pound looks like it's getting top heavy. If the pound starts retracing, the euro should follow suit. And the cat at the same time should also bounce from here. This is actually a good spot to buy the cat. But I'm not going to buy the cat right now because I try to stay into one pair. You know, if I'm in a little bit of a drawdown on, on a pair, I like to be in one pair at a time. And I'll trade around the drawdown. Many times I open up Nick's account on one screen because I want to see how the subs are doing for the signal service, how, how their fills are. So when I close, I always keep in mind uh, the price action to try to get them as close to me as possible in terms of pips. So right now we're up five pips, six pips, five pips. You feeling excited, nervous, level? No. Nothing. Nothing. No excitement, no nervousness. Just now I'm looking at the pound and looking to go higher. Earlier today, the subs missed one trade, but that was because I did a trade and I sold it right on the top of this spike. Yeah. And with you know a copier, it's very hard to to pick that off in terms of. You know them copying off of me. Which spike are you looking at? This first spike right You're up here. Oh yeah. It's eleven ninety one. It would be very difficult for anyone off a copier to get that. My mams got it. Uh, they were actually pretty because that's locally copied. It, but you know it's just tough in that type of move with a with a wick moving like that, like a candle with that near over wick. Earlier today you were watching really closely, like on the edge of your seat, whereas now you seem much more relaxed. Why is that? More coffees. <laughs> well, I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what it's like to live the life of a multi-millionaire Forex trader as much as I enjoyed filming it. Jeff is a really interesting guy. He lives a very unique and very intense life, but ultimately he loves what he does and that is what makes him such a great trader. I'd like to extend a big thank you to him and his wife Courtney for putting me up in their lovely home while I was in Toronto. Shortly after we met in Toronto, we organized a conference with some of our best clients in Las Vegas. And during that, we filmed a question and answer session for the benefit of you guys. So if you'd like to check that out, please click on the link below or click through to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to allocate capital to FX Viper to manage on your behalf, it's very easy. Just visit our website, thinkhugeinvestments.com.